Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us this Tuesday morning. Heading out the door, you might want a light jacket for today. The temperature is actually pretty mild to start the day off in the 20s and low 30s this morning. Warming up pretty quickly. It won't feel like winter or late January by any stretch of the imagination. Again, maybe 50 by the lunch hour. Again, lots of sunshine today. Should see highs in the 40s, 50s, even some 60s farther southwest this afternoon before the temperatures cool back down into the 40s later on. A nice, quiet, and rather peaceful morning it is across the area. So I have looking at McCook right now. Temperature of 36 degrees, a westerly wind at 10 miles an hour as well. Looks like a nice morning in your neighborhood. Again, temperatures look really pretty good this morning. Pretty mild, 28 right now. Still Beatrice and also there at North Platte. Still 33 at Lexington, also there at Kearney and Heber in this hour too. A little warmer in the Broken Bow area, 41 right now. So a temperature is a good mix of mainly 30s out there. Some places a little cooler, some places a little warmer. A little humid of a morning it is too. And you'd think with all this humidity out there that there would be a little bit of fog. But that's really not the case this morning. These west, northwesterly winds that we're seeing right now, about 5 to 10 miles an hour. They're just enough to keep that fog uh, out of our area this morning, which is a good thing. Nice to see a fog-free morning. Visibility does look pretty good for us, at least right now. Should continue to be that way for the rest of today too. Going back to those wind speeds, should remain out of the north and west today, about 5 to 10 miles an hour or so. So the wind shouldn't be all that bad. Satellite and radar, not a whole lot happening this morning. A nice quiet morning. It is got a, maybe a couple of clouds that are working their way into parts of north central Nebraska right now. Otherwise, the clouds mainly off in the panhandle at this time. Again, should see lots of sunshine today. Again, high pressures just situated off to our southwest there over the Colorado Rockies. We do have a low pressure system just off to our north and east as well. Kind of sandwiched in between that, of course, the high pressure system going to predominate our forecast for today, keeping things dry and rather sunny for us today. Nice to see, uh, of course, they've got the upper level ridge in place too. It's going to keep things rather warm as well. Staying clear for tonight and those temperatures tomorrow, they're going to be our warmest of the next really weak. We're looking at temperatures in the 60s. I would even roll out those 70s tomorrow afternoon in the southwest areas. We have some clouds that will build in later on tomorrow night into early Thursday morning, but that activity will pick up towards the end of the week. Our track and eight rain chance. So beware of that. 56 for a high today. Enjoy it. Another great afternoon in the store again. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures back down about 33 for tonight. Maybe a few clouds here or there. Otherwise, temperatures are really not that bad at all. Again, temperatures tomorrow even warm. Of course, 62 for a high. So we're looking at a very nice day the next couple of days. Really, again, temperatures 40s east. 50s for most, about 67 at McCook this afternoon. A great day for some of y'all out there. Temperatures 20s and 30s for tonight. Temperatures tomorrow are warmest yet. Widespread 50s, 60s, almost 70 there at McCook tomorrow afternoon. So enjoy the next couple of days. Temperatures do get a little cooler towards the end of the week here. Really not that bad, though. We're talking, you know, even when the time the groundhog takes over for my forecasting duties on Friday, still temperatures still in the 50s, and then temperatures in the 40s for the weekend. We are tracking that rain chance, though, starting off Friday afternoon. That was good news and bad news there with this rain chance this weekend. Again, of course, temperatures a little warmer, looking at rain predominantly. Of course, we are tracking some widespread, maybe some heavy rainfall, too, so flooding could be a concern. So. All right. Never just get the sunshine. That's right. Well, some of the rain.